Hey, hey, YouTube. It's your new friend, Piping JB. Let's go ahead and kick things off proper with a big thank you to the Artful Codger for giving me that little shout out. Really kind of blew things up for me way more than I expected. Got me a whole lot more subscribers than I thought I was going to get. A whole lot more feedback from a lot of you people. A lot of you new subscribers. Seriously, welcome and thank you so much. You'll be getting a lot of views from me and we'll have a lot of nice conversations coming up. Housekeeping. I have been smoking for the past 15 minutes the uh, trusty dusty Graybo Grand Duke. He's a beautiful little guy. Smoking some Blue Note I got from my local tobacconist. It's got a nice mild burly going on and a little sweetness, um, I think coming from those Virginias. And I'm using the, I don't know if you can see that. The C is for Chameleon Lighter, Zippo, the 1941 edition. And I got that courtesy of the good Reverend Sebastian Basil, dear, dear friend of mine. Nice little personalized engraving for Christmas. Find yourself a friend who remembers everything you ever said. You'll be doing good. As long as you're doing good and saying the right things. I had a little rant to go into today. I don't want to put off the wrong impression. I'm not a whiny person. I'm not a uh, let me talk to the manager type person. I'm a uh, easygoing guy. Some people like to brag about how easily they're uh, pissed off. I'm not that guy. I've never been that guy. I, it takes a lot to get me mad. Not mad, but you know, agitated. But uh, I've been dipping the toe in the water of uh, cigars as, uh, uh, lately as well. And I've been doing my own research. I know my palate kind of, so I, so I looked into some things and thought I found one I think I want to try. I think I want to dive in with that um, instead of just buying randomly. So, on to the hunt we go. So, I, I was calling around uh, local cigar shops at work, which is a little far from home, so I wasn't going to my normal tobacconist. So, I called two or three shops, and the conversation pretty much went like this with all of them. Ring, ring. Hello, cigars. Uh, hi, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I was curious to see if you could help me find a, a cigar I'm trying to hunt down. What? Uh, well, it's the uh, insert cigar name here. Nope. Wasn't sure I heard of it. Oh, is that a no? Nope. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a nice day. And that happened around three times in a row in three different shops. I got that kind of same response. And just as someone who works in retail and knows how to deal with people, especially new people, I work, I, I'm regional manager of two vape shops, e-cigarette stores here in uh, beautiful sunny Georgia. The weather's not so sunny, it's still beautiful. But I know how, how things can be, especially when you're new to things. You're not born knowing everything. But I know how it can be. And just to get that kind of response, again, I'm not expecting anyone to roll out a red carpet for me. I thought I had done my own research, knew what I wanted, called. My typical response if I wasn't carrying a product like that would be, no, I'm so sorry, friend, I don't have that. I can suggest some things that are similar to that if I was familiar with it. Or I would be honest and say I've never heard of it. And But if you tell me more about it, maybe I can help you. Or maybe you could get it here. Or, best option would have been maybe in my opinion I'll try to get that in for you man I'll, or I'll contact my uh, sellers you know I'm again not expecting a red carpet just a little decency you know just a little customer service we're in kind of a dying industry if the FDA has their way they're gonna screw us all and these brick-and-mortar shops will go away but remember there's always the option to go online and to me, that's the last option. At least I try to make it the last option. I want to find things. I want to go out and meet people and connect and have friends with similar interests. But I wasn't getting that. And truth be told, I don't have much of a desire to visit a store like that. I did before I made the call, but 
I don't want to visit with someone who sounds absolutely miserable to be there. It's a cigar lounge. At least all the ones I called were advertised that way, and I've been to one of them before. It's a lounge. It should be a little inviting. And you don't want to turn away potentially new clientele because, as we all know, most people who try it get a little obsessive, you know? I mean, that's, that's good business right there. Don't send people away just because you're lazy or because you're not feeling so great. You always got to check yourself and you never get tired of being the bigger man. That includes bigger than how they act and bigger than how you feel. Try to put your best foot forward. It's just my opinion. Again, I'm not one to expect anyone to kiss on my ass. Something hopefully they can change in the new year. Maybe change it around and be a little more inviting because you don't want to close your doors and send people online because it's just as easy as that. I'd like to keep these stores open. I'd like to keep the customer's place of escape available. And the more and more you send people away, more and more the likelihood of not having a shop in the future, more and more likely that would be. But anyways, just a thought I had as someone who works retail and has for a while in a hobbyist type area of retail, just try to be welcoming to these people, you know? A whole lot of them are a whole lot harder to please than I am, that's for sure. But even still, don't be tired of being the bigger man and help them out if you can. Just wanted to put that out there to hopefully help grow and, you know, improve on ourselves. That's what the new year is usually about, at least for me. But anyways, I'm done ranting. <laughs> I really appreciate you tuning in. Hope everyone is well. Again, all the new subscribers, I can't wait to connect with every single one of you. Codger, thank you so much for the shout out, man. I'm such a big fan and I can't wait for your next video and to speak with you again. More videos, possibly more music down the pipeline for this year. I'm writing down ideas for videos left and right as long as we find the time. But until next time, my friends, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you're all well and stay cool. We'll catch you next time.